Welcome back to lesson three, where we're going to talk you through cropping of your wildlife images. So we are in the grid module. We're going to use our shortcut and click D to get us into the development module. And from the development module, we are going to use our shortcut key to get into the cropping, which is R. So once you click that shortcut, we are in the cropping tool as you can see, and the crop and straighten tool will come up on the right hand side here for you. To get us started in cropping, you can come over to the edge here and bring the sides in or bring the top down. Remember if you want to undo what you've done in the cropping, it's just Command Z and that will take you back. To make it easier, if you grab the corners of your image, it will adjust both sides. So that does save you time while you're doing that. Once you're happy with an image, you can click Done or hit the Return key. If you ever want to go back, you can go back into your crop and you can undo the cropping that you did, which is always a nice option if you do make a mistake and you want to change how you cropped your image. One of the other options that you can use is if you come inside your image and you click and drag as to how you want to crop your image within your image and then you can click and hold and drag that around and see how you would like your image and then make adjustments from there. To rotate the crop of your image you can go outside the crop box and you'll see your mouse changes to this curved line with the two arrows on either side and as you click those you can scroll and adjust once you feel like you have got the right angle. You can let go and hit that enter key. If you want to go back, you can click your mouse and rotate the image until you are happy with the angle that you've got. Small final adjustment and hit enter once you are happy. Remember R key shortcut to get into the cropping and then you can crop from there. Outside to rotate and enter once you are done. Command Z if you want to go back, I prefer it with more space. On the bottom of the image. R to enter the crop. Once you've got the size that you want of the image, you can click and drag how you want the image to look. Once you're happy, you can click Done. One of the things that you can do while you're cropping images is come up here to Photo and you can flip your image. So you can flip it horizontally and you can flip it vertically. If we flip this horizontally, it's going to change the way that the bird is looking. And sometimes you may prefer it that way. If you want to flip it vertically, it's going to make it upside down. So that's not what we're looking for, but you can use it in some instances. Once we're in our crop tool, one of the things that is important in your wildlife photography 
If you do have horizons, is to make sure that they are straight. That is where our ruler and our angle tool are going to come in handy. So if we click on that tool, you'll see the level comes with us and we can draw a line on our horizon that will make that will rotate your image to our liking. So for example, if we wanted that to be our horizon, it would rotate the image according to how we want it. When we are cropping, I want you to take out anything in the image that doesn't add to the image. So the bottom of this image is not adding to this photograph and there's a bit too much scar. So we're going to take some of that scar out and a bit to the side. I'm going to make it a more interesting photograph. Pull that in so we're not missing too much. And make sure I'm happy with that horizon and that angle. And enter. That's a much better photograph. Much more information and much more focused with less distraction. A lot of the photographs that you will take in the wild will be animals focused on something else. Remember when they are looking across the photograph we want to leave space for them to look into. So when we're cropping we want to give them that space to look into. So if we do go too close in we lose too much of the body but that at least gives us bit of space for the cheetah to look into. And click that. Very happy with that. Let's just check that we're happy with our angle. Remember we want the line that it's looking along. Last but not least, our perfect sunset shot to end us off. This is quite a simple one. We're going to use the ruler to straighten the horizon to make sure we're happy with the angle of the image. Once we've straightened that, we're going to pull on the corner to get the crop right. So we're getting rid of all the information that we're not happy with. And that looks much better, focusing on the sun and the sunset and the beautiful colors. Thanks very much for watching this lesson. I hope you learned a lot about cropping and these do make big impacts on your image so don't be scared to crop too much and we'll see you in the next lesson.